Hi, I'm Charles Sprinkle from Cali Audio. Today we're going to be going over how to defeat ERP functionality on the LP6 and LP8 studio monitors. The first step is to remove the eight screws that are in the back of the loudspeaker panel. You can do this using a powered screwdriver if you would like. You'll notice that the screws on the sides of the loudspeakers are longer screws than the screws on the top and bottom. Please take note of this and put these screws in a safe place for right now. Open the rear panel as shown and pull the LED wire off the board as shown here. The jumper switch for EUP functionality is located right here. Move the jumper from the standby position to the normal position and that defeats the ERP functionality. Reinstall the LED wire, close the rear panels, and reinstall the screws. We recommend using a manual screwdriver to reinstall the screws on the top and bottom of the loudspeaker. A good idea is to back the screw out until it clicks into the thread that is pre-existing, then carefully tighten the screw. This can be repeated with all four screws here. An automated screwdriver can be used for the screws on the side, but care must be used to use a low torque setting. 